comment down below if you're a gin drinker and you like gin and tell me what type of gin you drink because I'm interested in knowing. Okay? Okay? Okay. Thanks. Right. Bye. Either way, um, stay tuned. If you like the video, give it a massive thumbs up, and I'll see you guys soon. Really cute, and um, they look like they're doing some fermentation things over here. And um, here we are. And, and here's Jade. I think this is the first time you guys have seen Jade and that the familiar face and yeah. That's your favorite Danielle. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't say yeah. Danielle and underscore. No, but they really know they need to follow me on the gram. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so um, have you guys done a gin tasting before? No. Okay, um, do you know anything about gin, how it's made, anything like that? Okay, cool. Yeah, so when you make <laughs> that's good enough. Basically, when you make gin, you take any base milk pot and you just fill it with juniper berries, and that's what gives it the gin flavor. Um, so those are some juniper berries on the table there. So you guys can each take one and just uh, roll it to your fingers. Just break it open a little bit. So make sure you break the skin. Yeah. And then smell it. And you tell me what it smells like. Just make sure you manage to break that skin, then you get the you know, full smell. Can I just say, Michelle and I were really nice. Smells like what? Amazing. Like the smell. Like, it smells like. What are you supposed to do? You know, Michelle. Yes, I think I'm going to do it. Smells like gin. I think we're all trying to find something. It's something traditional. Basically, that's what gives gin all of its flavor. So, usually, your store for gin is. They use a base alcohol of like cane or vodka um, or any other potato based spirit um, and then the juniper berries give it its flavour but what makes us unique is that we use wine and beer as the base alcohol for our gin. So it gives it quite an interesting flavour um, and yeah it's really nice, I, I think it's better than your, like especially the, the first one that I'm going to show you, it's the one that's most similar to your London dry but I think it's a lot better than your um, so yeah, uh, we'll explain each one in a bit more detail as you pour it. <laughs> you guys, this smells like... Yeah, this one's like a really good The next one that I have is the beer date, and the beer that we use is the last beer. So this one's way more intense than the first one. Uh, and um, because the last beer, it gives it a very spicy flavor. And to make this spicy flavor even stronger, we add a um, more spicy botanical. This color and this flavor, um, and yeah, you, if you just if you're gonna taste any of them, I would recommend this one. It's a bit easier than the others to drink, and yeah, you can really smell that rooibos and honey flavor coming through. So you take the normal gin. Um, this is the one that smells like a rooibos. In the um, wine bottle, we have things like raspberry, mint, cucumber. Definitely not my kind of apple. <laughs> and then for the hot tea, we have lemon because the lemon goes well with tea and rooibos and that like, anyway. And yeah, we don't want to ever complicate that flavor too much. Cool, and then 
last day, I'm just going to add the time. And the ratio that we usually use is 1 is to 4. Um, so that's basically it. Do you guys have any questions? Just let me know. Um, if it's too, if you're finding the stick annoying, you can just take it out to leave the fruit. <laughs> so, um, the first one is the Woodstock June Inception. Oh shit, they're all Woodstock June Inception. I meant to say the grape based, grape -based gin. And this is the information on the gin. Guys, I'm not going to read all this out, but you can like slow down the video and read for yourself. And then the next one is the beer based gin. So all you beer lovers, this is definitely the one for you. And then this one is the aroma one. So the high tea gin. It smells like Roy Boss. And uh, yeah, so this is the information on the gin and all the shebang bang. So they added um, uh, appetizers. Yeah. To the what did you say? The gin. Is that what you said? Is that what she said? Um, yeah, that looks like I don't know what that looks like. This is an orange, that's a lemon. So, this is raspberry okay, that's raspberry and mint and cucumber. This is really good though. Oh, shit. So yeah, we're doing the standard tasting, which is 60 rand per person for three standard chips. But then you said something about us getting a discount, so it's 30 rand per person. So yeah, I'll be thinking Hila is living her best life. No, Hila is living her best discount life. Okay, okay. I'm going to be my answer for the day. Price. I got this on sale guys for like 40 bucks it's an oversized shirt and um, yeah I got these pants and my wallet and um, <laughs> I'm feeling very awkward now because these people are looking at me like that like why do you guys have stank faces yeah. No, continue. No, we're watching. Continue, continue. We're just watching. taking notes. Just <laughs> quick, quick. <stuff. laughs> this is the grape based gin, the Inception one. Um, yeah. Oh, I like this. This is nice. You don't even taste the alcohol. <laughs> Okay. There's like a random um, shack in the background and I don't know why there's a random shack in the background. I think it's for the vibes and for the aesthetics and the, you know. Either way, I'm on to my second which is the beer based gin. Oh shit. I'm so close and I'm person and I'm so sorry. So this is the beer based gin. And uh, it really smells a lot like tequila, I think. Let's do like a not even tequila, like a young vodka. No, I don't even like vodka, so call Jay. Call Just say her name. I want this you guys. What the hell is this? Oh my god, this is horrible. But I paid, so I'm gonna drink. Yeah, like what the hell? The third um, gin tasting, which is the high tea gin. The lady said um, it was a Roy Boss um, infused or base gin or whatever she said. And um, it smells like tea, yeah. it smells like rooibos and it tastes like tea, but there's nothing special about it, it just tastes like tea. Because it was fine, I liked it. Well, besides the second one, it reminds me of it one time I almost died. So but other than that, <laughs> the other two were great. So yeah.
I actually prepared the second one because I'm strong. But anyway, uh, <laughs> some of your weak pieces, <laughs> bro. Some of your not strong. Okay, so I mean, I'm glad that can be third. Uh, third one was also nice. Did All three were good. Jay, do you like the Jay? Yeah, I like it all. <laughs> and my cocktail suit that someone stole. <laughs> cocktail um, stealer. I love all the gems. Why? I did because I love alcohol, so I enjoy it. <laughs> Don't drink alcohol, kids, stay in school. All of them are good. Because I'm a gen person, but like my favorite was the IT because I also love the records, so perfect combo. Um, I like the gin. I even got a gin cocktail, a Selena, and it tastes really nice. So yeah, I'll definitely recommend the gin Woodstock um, tasting place. It's literally like it's adjacent to the old biscuit mill. So if you know where the old biscuit mill is, but you know where the gin tasting is. Um, and we only pay 30 rand each if you get the entertainer app right because you get 30 50 percent off this is not a sponsored ad a video so um yeah okay so i'm back home oh that's too close like personal space but yeah i'm back home and it was my first ever gin tasting i feel like it went really well i love the gin i don't like the one the first one i tasted in particular without the tonic that was really disgusting but the rest were i'm um, fine without the tonic but the tonic made it better so definitely gin and tonic is a thing i know it's a thing but like i know why it's a thing now like gin is just not the kind of drink i would you know i wouldn't go into a shop and buy gin do you get what i mean but i mean i had a gin cocktail and it was so so nice so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below if you drink gin or if you want to drink some gin you want to try some gin or if you do drink gin what's your favorite brand of gin but yeah guys i'll see you in my next video bye